Hello, hello, and welcome back to another lesson. Uh, in this one, we're going to be looking at Soundgarden's Black Hole Sun, but as Chris Cornell plays it, solo acoustic style, or sometimes he has a pianist with him and stuff, which does sound awesome. I've been playing it over the past few weeks or so, and I thought, you know what, I will show you how to do this as well. So, let's crack on. It starts off like this. That's just like the album. So we are in drop D tuning. So this string here is gonna go down to a D. First chord, very straightforward. Just bar on the fifth fret, and you're gonna play an arpeggiation with that pattern, right? Then your little finger goes onto the eighth fret on the E string. And you just play four notes there. Then you're going to slide down to the third fret, bar on the third fret, little finger on the fifth fret on the G. And you're going to play six notes there. And then the open E, which is now the D. And then you shift it down one fret. So that slowly. Open E, and that again is just the um, first fret barred, so you're going to arpeggiate up and down again, yeah? Then the open E, and you've got the um, third fret on the A string, D open, second fret on the G. I play them on my first and second fingers. That's the intro. It's also a big chunk of the verse, okay? So that bit nailed. Now the extra bit at the end of the verse goes like this. I'll play it in context. that little bit. I think he does actually start to arpeggiate a bit more as well when he goes to the E. So a bit more like that really. Um, and basically there you're just playing um, fifth fret again. So it's um, E A D E. Same again, but this time you've just moved your first finger down to the third fret, but you're still playing the fifth fret on the A and D. So. Then up to the sixth fret. And you leave that ring out. Okay, so let me play that slowly. to speed. Great stuff. And you play around that twice. And then you're into the chorus section. Now the chorus section actually nicks heavily from the uh, verse. Let me play it through um, one time and then there are some variations that come in later but we'll deal with them separately. So here's how the first chorus goes. some nice chords at the end. So the first bit is the same as part of the verse, right? Up until that point. And then you're going to go to a B flat on the A string. You arpeggiate that whole thing. Then back around. And then these chords. Basically, bar the whole of the third fret and put your third and fourth fingers on the third fret on the D and the G string. Okay, so 
which is just a D5 chord, but you play all of the strings. I don't know if you play the high E. Then you're going to go round the verse twice again. Um, and when you come into the next chorus, it changes slightly. So you, the chorus plays twice this time. So that once round would be... once time round, right? And the first time it's going to play... And then back around the chorus again, okay? And then that um, last part extends again. So, all I've done there... is the same thing we played before, right? So you're going to bar the third fret, put your third and fourth fingers on the D and G, slide it down two frets back into the chorus. And it changes here into... into that riff. And it plays that four times round, okay? So it's just a subtly different um, measure each time, okay? So it's not terribly difficult, but you just got to remember to, the changes, basically. Um, so that um, riff, which is the black hole sound part, four times then you're going to play this okay and then you're back into the next um, section which is the verse. So that riff, awesome. Third frets to second fret. And I think there's a bit of vibrato there. Open uh, A. And then a slide from the uh, second to the third. Then you're going to play five. Five, four, three. Okay, walk down chromatically there. So that again. Then you're going to bar the whole third fret and put your first, uh, your second finger rather, onto the what's that? The fourth fret on the G. Lovely little chord. And you play that round four times. So that's slowly. just a slide using the low two strings from the third fret up to the fifth so you go okay so just two plucks but three sounds because you're sliding straight away okay um, then you've got the third verse which basically is half as long so you're going to play the chorus again. And then you're going to play that chorus exactly as per the second time round, I believe. And then you're going to go 
uh, into this outro riff. And you're done. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed that one. I know I've probably repeated a load of stuff that you already know, but um, I just found it good fun playing on the acoustic. Thought you may have too. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.